I'm Mark Tracy. I edit and write much of The Scroll, which is Tablet Magazine's blog. Uh, I've been at Tablet for a little over six months, and we are currently on Jersey Street, which is a sort of alleyway next to our office building, which is one of my favorite streets in New York City. Hi, I'm Allison Hoffman. I am Tablet's senior writer. I have been with Tablet since we were in our inception planning phase, and so we're coming up on our first anniversary of, uh, of public. I think the whole objective is to create a forum where hopefully everybody can speak and find something interesting. I mean, I don't think people often ask me if we're independent or what our politics are, and I say that. You know, in the same hour and sometimes in the same breath, we get attacked from the left and the right, and that suggests to me that we're speaking to uh, to everybody, which is something that we don't have enough of these days. Well, I mean, look at it this way: the New York Times, for New York Times. 30 years, had somebody whose job was to cover the Jewish community. That was his beat. Um, and this was in the 50s and the 60s and the early 70s. And after he passed away, that beat basically bled into other coverage of the paper, and so. It stopped being its own question, and I think that that has been a very easy way for us to work as a community because the truth is that Jewish stories are interesting to people who aren't Jews, and um, that's great, but I think there's also a point at which, as a community, it's important to stop and say, well, wait, let's think about these things that are happening as Jews, look at them through a Jewish lens explicitly, um, and I think that's also part of what we're trying to do, so in a way we're competing with the New York Times and the New Republic, not politically, but actually in terms of the reporting and the kinds of stories that we're covering and writing about, but the lens that we're looking through it is specifically a Jewish lens. We're not looking through it as young 20 and 30-somethings. We're not looking at it as New Yorkers. We're not looking at it even necessarily as Americans. It's, it's specifically asking about these things from Jewish people. The Binder piece was interesting, I think. Um, not so much for it itself as for just the fact of it, the things it threw into relief, I don't think it changed anything. I don't think Peter Beinart would say it changed anything. Um, but uh, there, there was something about that, you know, the little shtetl argument spilling over outside. Um, you know, agree with it, disagree with it, the fact that that argument's happening I think is very relevant. Right. And I think the next argument um, is less... I mean, it, it's the thing that Beinart hints at, which is not that younger American Jews are turning away from Israel, it's that they're indifferent to it. That's the story. If you know, the concept of Israel becomes completely separated, well, not even completely, the more and more the concept of Zionism becomes separated from, or anti-Zionism becomes separated from being a Jew. In other words, that you can be a fully participating American Jew and be neither Zionist nor anti-Zionist, just not really care. I think that's the next, I think that's what's coming. I think that there's actually a whole other piece of the binary story that um, has been very hard for American Jews to talk about, which is themselves. I mean, the truth is that the whole piece was actually not about what should or shouldn't happen in Israel or what the Israelis should or shouldn't do. It's actually about us. And my beat and what I cover is the American Jewish community. So. Yes, that means that I write about Israel, but I write about what we think about Israel and what we do with regard to Israel, not actually about what's happening. And I have found that it's actually very difficult um, for American Jews to stop and think about how we organize ourselves as a community. Um, not, you know, there's questions of how we organize ourselves religiously and how we tie ourselves together politically and how we talk about each other and interact with each other socially and in the arts, um, you know, we talk about the Jews, but who knows what that means. So my task is really going and figuring out what people mean when they say that, but I think that, you know, I um, wrote a couple of pieces recently about a group that Peter Reinhardt mentions, the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations, and I think it's Great a title. group that has a lot of power in Washington and that the average Jew in the street doesn't know about, and that to me is an interesting question is how that disconnect, you know, opens up and, and what people, what it found is that everyone means something slightly different when they talk about the Jewish community or the Jews, and um, that to me is a really interesting